Hey there, this is Steve Horseman with Good Guys to Great Men. Thanks again for watching today. Today's video is how to become calm and confident and eliminate that pissy anger of yours. I know about pissy anger. I've been pissy and I've been angry before. I know what it's like to throw a hammer across the room or to scream at somebody in traffic or to react in defensiveness in, in the front of a lover or a partner and just, just lose it, just lose your shit. I know what it's like to just have an outburst of anger that you didn't see coming that you can't control. And I want to talk about how you eliminate anger. I'm not saying we'll never get angry, but how do you eliminate its bad effect that it can have on you when it comes up? And how do you think about it differently? Because once you do that, becoming calm and becoming confident becomes a whole lot more natural for you. So here's what somebody taught me one time. And it's, it's kind of a woo-woo, so I'm going to warn you right now, this gets a little woo-woo. But it works. And the secret is to anger, there's always a thought. There is always a thought that happens a nanosecond before you get angry. The thought happens so quickly you don't even see it. But within that nanosecond of thought, there's like a two hour full feature film of something that you're imagining that's not right. It's a feature film that's imagining that you're not okay, that you're not good enough. In that nanosecond, Every memory you've ever had of not being okay, of not being good enough, of a time when somebody shamed you or criticized you or condescended or belittled you into believing that you weren't good enough or that you weren't okay. That movie happens a nanosecond right before your anger. This is proof that anger is really born from thoughts, the thoughts in your head, but we don't believe it sometimes because we don't see the thoughts coming because they happen so quickly. It's that nanosecond. And so what I want you to do is know that that happens. And if you can't see the nanosecond, if you can't see the nanosecond and, and see the movie that's causing that, that feeling of anger swelling in you, if you can't see it, I want you to do this with me right now. I want you to know that you're okay. So right now, as you're watching this video, look around the room, breathe deeply, just answer this question for me right now. Are you okay at this minute? This very second, are you okay? Yes or no? If the answer is yes, are you okay now? You were okay three seconds ago, are you okay now? Are you still okay? Are you gonna be okay 10 seconds from now? Are you going to be okay 30 seconds? How about a minute? How about 10 minutes from now are you going to be okay? Yeah, you are. The reason you're going to be okay 10 minutes from now is the same reason you're okay right now. And the reason you're going to be okay when you wake up tomorrow morning is the same reason you're okay now. Because right now you don't have any movies going through your head right now that you're not okay, that you suck, that you're, that you're going to fail at work, you're going to get fired, you're not going to have enough money, that you, you're never going to be in love again, or your wife is going to leave you, or you're never going to have sex, or nobody's ever going to find you attractive. Any of those things that we think could happen or might happen that might define us as being unworthy, unattractive, undesirable, or just plain old not good enough. They're just thoughts, and they play in that nanosecond before you get angry every time. Anger comes from feeling like you're not good enough. It comes from feeling that you're not okay. And the secret to overcoming anger and becoming calm and confident in yourself is knowing the truth. You're actually always okay. You were okay two minutes ago when I started this whole thing. You're okay a minute ago when I asked you if you're okay. You're still okay, right? I'm okay. And I don't mean this to be this 70s woo-woo, I'm okay, you're okay thing. This is a, a deep dive into the truth about your well-being. It doesn't come from other people. It doesn't come from what anybody thinks about you, what they say about you, how attracted they are to you, whether they stay married to you or not. It doesn't matter. You have to have a spiritual level of knowing that you're actually okay at this very moment. Are you still okay? So that's the point. Eliminating anger is really getting control of the idea that thoughts cause your emotions. That nanosecond movie that happens right before you have an angry outburst, a flare-up of temper, to wanting to defend or argue or criticize somebody, it comes from that thought that you're not okay. Because whenever you really are okay, when you're really feeling your mojo, on those days when you're really feeling good, you have no cause for anger. 
you have no cause to defend or criticize anybody. You're really, it's because you're okay. So what I want to teach you is that you can conjure or you can build up this feeling that you're okay in those times when you're about to outburst in anger. I want you to ask yourself, wait a minute, what just happened in my head? What was the movie that just played that told me I'm not okay? That's how you're going to do it. That's how you're going to become more calm and more confident and realize that those, those butterflies and those jittery feelings of anger and unrest aren't real. You made them up. You played the movie in your head all by yourself, and I want you to learn to play a different movie. And the title of that movie is, I'm Good. I'm Okay. I hope that helps you. Take care. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.